All right, here we are entering Final Fantasy X. This is a new section of the game. You see the stadium up ahead. There's Titus, the crowds gathering for the games. And we're embarking onto the... This is just a world vision. So complex. Imagine the detail they went through to make this. It's so beautiful, so serene. Um, ah, and over there! The ships carrying the players are arriving now! This would be dock number two! There you go. All the way from Killiga, it's the Killiga Beasts! So this is introducing the teams that will be playing in the Blitz Ball. Their hometown was recently attacked by Sin. Isn't that right, Jimma? Yes, Baba. They're going to be pulling out all the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurochs. They're a They're living, living breathing, breathing, statistical, statistical impossibility. impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard so fans are in the I think audience today. Three or four teams. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Got to check right, something Jim, Jim. in my email here. Sorry Moving about this. Right this is a big is movie section. Here they are, folks! Our very own Luca Goers! They've got power, they've got speed, go. they've got teamwork. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luca. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a well, miracle for them to lose to today. get through this, and I can upload it. <laughs> ADR is actually very difficult. Looks like all of Luca has turned out Especially when you're doing it all at once. They know, I know, and you know, folks. Lucky for me, these people are talking. Luca goers are number one. Yeah, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. All right. Stop hey, you are You guys are smiling now, but not for long. Smoking. Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup. <laughs> oh. What in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out, though. Hey, Titus, you're not we that weak. Sphere. We were. Maester Micah is here. Already? The number three dot. Okay. What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by Let's now? Let's see here... Hey, mind your mouth now! Let's all go see him! So I'm walking along looking for... Orok, is that his name? You can please save. Because of all that... All that stuff right before... Uh, if I... What went into a win or lose situation and lost I would have lost three minutes of gameplay and that would be horrible <laughs> all right Just talking to everyone available. Well, not everyone. Didn't talk to that guard there. 
Oh, what's here? This is nice. Oh, shit. That's like a beautiful ship. Hmm. Beautiful purple sail. Can't see a thing. Shh. Oh, they've got a circus with them. A circus to introduce. This is an odd looking fella. That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? Let's see the face. Why can't we? There, okay. Finally get to see the face. Now, is that his veins or is that hair? Or is it some kind of magic energy? Okay. I don't remember if you absolutely have to win this tournament or not, or if you can just win People part of, of it or what. I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Mr. Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Mr. Jiskel Guado who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you okay. already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. So his dad died and he's the new I king. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. Imagine a cosplayer I trying to do that here. carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Hey, bow your head. He's a leader. Yeah, he's a big spiritual world leader. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also. Yes. So now we have another blank section. Yes, it hides all the save screens. All right, here we go. And it's the change room for the. Um, this, the, the blitz ball. Where's Waka? That the matchup draws. We had to play the Goers in the first match last year. The year before that, and the now one before that Keep in mind, too. the blonde hair protagonist, yeah, Titus, anyway. is supposed to be the best blitz ball player ever. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be super good at blitz ball. Better still than Sykes this first. guy with the orange we hair and walk up. We're in the finals. That's right. We got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. <laughs> first things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Yeah. I remember I got kind of good at this game when I played the first walk, uh, the first playthrough through back 10, 15 years ago. Um, so this is just a tutorial. If you read what's on the screen, you will understand. I really should be talking a lot right now, but because there's no other words being said. But it's just, this is how you play the game and how I will be learning how to play. That's the triangle thing as a goal. Um, see? <laughs> uh, I don't know. So he's swimming with other people now. 
and so it can switch between automatic swimming and manual swimming. I think with the square button. Alrighty. This was a PlayStation 2 game and they updated the graphics for the PlayStation 4. Okay, so there's people all around me now swimming around back and forth, I guess their version of treading water. Go back to automatic. And you see in the map that the you can compare in the map to the people who are next to you. I really watch this walk through a lot. Because it's important to know how to play if I'm going to win. Although I'm sure the game will nerf the first round at least. Okay, got that. Okay, what's this? Okay. Swimming around, singing a song. Okay, so pass and shoot cost hit points. So dribble does cost hit points. Uh, my hit points are going down the more I dribble. So just going through the menu, watching every single walk through. Pass. Hmm. That person or someone else? Hmm. Who should I pass it to? There's no enemy in the pool, so <laughs> pass it to this person. Bata? Bota? Okay, I just downed all my water. Just read what's on the screen. If you can read English, be reading. That's the whole point of this. I, wa I thought you were able to go 360 degrees. Maybe they didn't design it that well. Or I mean like to that detail. Because this is a very well designed game. Especially for a mini game. But, um, why can you, it's, you're basically swimming on a flat surface. Summary. Uh, shooting. Okay, we're gonna. This really could have been lumped in with the passing Ooh. tutorial. Okay. Hungry again. Well, this uh, this section is about to time out. 
Okay, there. That, that, that's just natural. We lost a few seconds of gameplay because of the 15 minute uh, record l l limit, which also means I'm halfway through narrating this game. So this is really just, by going through all the menus, it really hammers home exactly how you play the game. And if you want to study up, or if you want to just dive in, excuse me. So we're shooting for the net. And it's caught. And the text explains why that is. Uh, using HP. Oh, I switched using the HP. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't pass it. I was looking up how to do screen capture on a Nintendo Switch and it recommends me use the capture card that I have that I can't get to work. But the PlayStation 4 has a good capture card. I don't know if I could even narrate while it captures if I, I had that plug into the uh, controller. Maybe you can write that in the comments if you knew. So if you see in the map, the two teams are in place, and this is like a virtual start to a real game, just going through the particulars. It's like football or soccer. Pass? Does he have enough hit points or pass points, whatever it is? No, he does not. It's intercepted. And I think that's the end of that tutorial. Maybe not. Part 2. And there's two people. And you get past both of them. So the two people tried to intercept, but my guy caught it. Some people are just like sports, I don't do sports. <laughs> And I don't watch sports myself, but I'll, I'll do this. I mean, I'm not going to do this in real life, but I... And he catches the ball. End of summary. What's next? Breakthroughs? It's 
a lot of this is just intuitive and self-explanatory the more you read the particular of each specific walkthrough. So he, for some reason he has really high pass but he's got three people blocking him. Okay. So who it what are we gonna do here? Oh he just kicked him in the face. Okay, here we go. Boink. Boink. Okay, there's summary seven. Tech copy. For some reason, doing these uh, let's plays where I ADR the thing, it, it's a really strange. Is a really strain on me. Big strain. So we failed the tech copy. I didn't see where the X button was. I didn't see it happen. There's a summary and I think that's the, I think I'm just like, okay, enough of this. I'm like, what, what do I need to do? Do I really need to know about these? No, okay. So here's the barracks. There you are. Someone said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. game starts like real soon hmm come back okay. quick hey I'll be back yeah okay sure hey Waka <sighs> you're stiff man <clears throat> no no not your face yeah. just breathe out relax okay like this <clears throat> just breathe yeah <sighs> <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? All right. Huh? What? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. Oh. So he might know where Sir Jack is. I didn't know Let's that. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Oren Yuna was talking about, and the one that go I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why. But I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Hello? Why is Lulu in the men's changing room? Save, of course, because of all that cutscene stuff.
Lock screen of save screen. Talk to these people. What does everybody have to say? It's crowded out there. Stay really, close. You should not be here. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and this girl Riku gave me food, and. Uh. You don't understand me, do you? Uh. Uh, anyway. If you meet Riku. Tell her thanks for yeah, me. Thanks, Riku. Oh, and as for you the know, first I've game, I've been thinking about it since I said that and Lulu should be able to be in that change room. I that was wrong of me to say that. Okay. Well, I assumed the game was going to turn off at any moment now, so I just wander around in circles for a while. So I'm going to end the narration and cut off the end of this clip. <laughs>